So that probably wasn't an appropriate fade, but at least you can see where you do it. If you want a different type of fade, um, now we've built in this, this transition from one to another, faded in. If we go to transitions, if you decide you want to have, and there's dozens of things here, um, have, a, have a flick through. If you want a, a linear white, this one, all we do is we drag this into this zone here, and you'll see a little plus icon. And what it will do is it'll apply linear wipe. We can also change some uh, the degree to it with it wipes and so on. Um, I just click the cross to close that um, and just leave the default settings. If we now watch that, my mistake. So when you put we, we have a linear wipe there. Uh, if you don't like that, uh, you can delete it. Perhaps the undo button's the easiest thing. That's got rid of our linear wipe. And if you don't like the, let's get rid of the whole thing for now. So that's how you do, that's how you merge two things together and you can apply different types of transition. Uh, in terms of video effects, it may be, let's, uh, I'm just going to cut this this one with the S, S button into a separate video just for the moment. So we've got a little bit of video here, but one of the things you might have noticed is perhaps you decide that it's coming out too dark or too light. It may be that if the lighting is not quite right and it's too dark, what we can do is we can go into video effects and uh, I tend to use levels uh, on the levels one, you can brighten and darken things. Again, we just simply drag brighten to here, and what the effects does is it applies it, and I'm going to just use the default settings, it applies that to the whole of that section of the clip. So if we now watch this, you'll see, well, you can see up here, it's brighter than the other videos. We brightened it up. Okay, um, you can, and, and there's a little, I, th these are your video effects here. Uh, this, and it's coloured green on this one, it's white on this one. The green filled in indicates that we have an effect applied to this bit of video, and we can apply more than one effect. You could darken it, uh, brighten it further, and you can see now by d we've doubled up on the effect on that. You might also want to do some other weird and wonderful things, so you might want to, for example, uh, decide that you want to make it sepia. So let's go for a, an old photograph look to that bit of the picture. If you decide you don't like that, if you click on the event effects, you'll see here that we've got applied to it a levels twice and sepia. So we can simply, if I remember right, um, if right click and remove. Let's remove the sepia and let's remove one of the levels. So we're back to just the first stage of brightening or we can even just take that out. So it's right click and remove. So we can remove individual effects. So you might want to play around with some of the funny stuff, the fancy stuff here. If you've got um, a video where you want to change the the audio levels, not for the whole thing as a whole. This is the master video, so you'll you'll see as we as we play a bit of video. Let's just play something. You'll so see when you put your it's a bit loud. Let, let's music, pull it down a bit. So we can change the overall level of the whole video, but what if you you stitch two bits together? One's quite quiet, one's quite noisy. You want to change the, the sound levels midway through. Well, you, what you do is you need to right-click on the... Uh, right-click anywhere around about here, and you'll get a menu option called Insert and Remove Envelope. And you can do... There's two options here. You can either have an envelope where you can shift the panning from left to right channel, or more commonly, I use it for volume. Now, when we click that, watch what happens uh, on, this, on this line here. When we click on it, a, a darker blue line comes right across the middle. That's your overall volume level. It would be exactly the same if you were panning. If you want to shift the, uh, the mix between the left and right channel, it would be exactly the same functionality. So this is your volume, and it's set right in the middle. What we can now do is set in and out points, uh, and you right-click on the line and add a point, Typically, you would add four points. So let me add four points. You'll see. You'll see in a second why. Now, what we can do with this middle ch section is we might want to make that quieter. So we drag it down, and the reason why we've got two points here is because it's the fade, the fade in, and the fade out. So if we want to gradually quieten it down, we can pull the in this point out here and have a gradual fade down here of volume. But we might want to actually make it quite suddenly go loud again. Let's see how that works. Or if your motorhome is left for several weeks, unused. Uh, we can exaggerate that even further if you just just to make sure you caught that. Or if your motorhome is left for several weeks, unused. 
So that's really useful, particularly if you want to superimpose music. If you drag a music an audio track into into the music line, then what you can do is you can set, set a similar uh, envelope, audio envelope on that, and you can make one of them go n loud and one quiet if you want to fade the music in and fade out the the voice. So that's quite useful to know. Let's go back now to our video overlay, which was right back at the start, um, and I'm just going to spin the wheel to zoom to zoom this. Um, it always zooms around where you've got the marker, so that's why it's shunted back to the eight minutes eight minute section. So if I just pull back to here, stick my marker here, now we can zoom in and out at this part of the video. Now, when you've got uh, when you insert a video overlay like we've done here, by default there's no fading in or out. So watch this; it'll 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 appear very very suddenly. And everybody knows it. Did you catch that? Suddenly, suddenly just appeared. It. What you might prefer is a gradual fade in. So usually I set it for a second by dragging the top corners. You'll see a little blue thing in the top corner. And the icon shifts from uh, this icon, which is for moving the duration of it, to in the top corner, changing the fade. So we'll change that to a, sec a second at both ends. And if we watch that now, we'll see that it'll gradually fade in. And everybody knows it's pretty important to uh, drain down the water heater. Okay, um, and we can make that longer or shorter by dragging. Um, just be careful you don't accidentally click on these two icons because these do something different. This one here applies your, your, your special effects. So you can apply effects not just to the videos but also to your pictures. Uh, and this one, this one uh, sorts out the, the panning and the cropping. So let me now show you something really, really advanced just very briefly. If we go into panning and cropping, and uh, it's good. I always find this much easier if we use the if we use the zoom tool and just right click on the center of the screen to make it smaller. And now let's go back to the move tool. You toggle between zoom, zoom and move. Um, and let's just move this so that we can see the picture here. What we oh, and let's also hang on. This is important as well. Let's also move the timeline so the marker is where this overlay is that we're working on. So we can now see that this picture here has been superimposed over the top of our video. What we can do here now is we can move this. So the icon as it stands at the moment means we can drag it and move it and you can see it's moving compared to the video. If you're looking uh, at, the, at, the, at the video preview. So this allows you to, to, to pan and crop things. So it might be for example uh, and this is this is on for a duration. We've set this for six seconds. It happens to be on six seconds. So what you might want to do is when you get three seconds in, we set uh, a point here where what we're going to do at three seconds in, we're going to move this, we're going to move these drag handles and make this smaller to here. At the same time we're going to move it so we get this icon that's on the screen which is the drag icon and we're going to drag it and let's drag it to the top corner. Um, this is called a, uh, a keyframe here. A keyframe is, is something, you've got a keyframe at the start and a keyframe here. So you create, what you can do, and you can create many of these, you can create movement. And if you watch the Tectopia video on YouTube on how to create an intro, uh, an intro, um, uh, there's a great one called Simple Intro Creation, you'll start to see the real power of using these keystones. But let's see what this is now doing when we play it back. And everybody knows it's pretty important to uh, drain down the water heater. It's moving it for the first three seconds. It's moving it just as we told it from big to little. And then when you get to the first, the key points that we put in, that then freezes it in that point there. So that the water. So that can be really useful if you want to have something. It'll uh, a slide on screen, but at the same time you want them to see your face. So you may have some bullet points or something on a PowerPoint slide, but you want that to be somewhere in the corner, just tucked away.